can't think of a better thing to do today than be with my little bestie granddaughter and get into that kitchen and do a little sweet baking with her. And yes, on the menu today is chocolate ganache cake. Now, I can't say it was homemade, it wasn't scratch, it was from a box, but there sure were a lot of fingers going into that chocolate cake. And you know, anytime I have an opportunity to spend a day with my little sweetie, it's always a glorious day filled with love and hugs and kisses, even if they're chocolate kisses. I love it. Hi everyone. Well, this is my sweet little baby granddaughter. Belly button, pearls, perfection. And that sweet little baby granddaughter is now two and a half years old. It's always a pleasure and a blessing when I get to spend time with her. So, welcome to my channel if you're new, and if you're old, welcome. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you'd like to subscribe, I'd love to have you. Today, well, we're not going to exactly talk about fashion, pearls, jewelry, makeup, what's in my purse. We are going to bake a chocolate ganache cake with my baby granddaughter. It's not from scratch. It's a box cake, but it is such fun to do and such fun to get in the kitchen. And there's nothing better than getting in the kitchen when they're young because that's when it starts. So you'll be able to see how it goes with baby in the kitchen. I hope you'll stay. I'll show you um, the end product of the beautiful ganache cake. So simple, so easy. I used a box cake from uh, Gerigaldi, dark chocolate, and then I finished it with a, a chocolate ganache um, frosting, which is basic dark chocolate chips, some cream, and a pinch or two of salt. So easy, so yummy. And I'll share a piece of that cake with you later too. So hope you enjoy this. Um, I'm also going to introduce to you Ungi, also known as George. So are you intrigued to watch? I hope so. Stay tuned. Look this way, baby. I'm not too sure how this is going to go, but Baby girl and I are gonna bake a cake, a chocolate ganache, aren't we? We baking a cake? Yeah. Yeah, okay, what do we have to do? <laughs> yes, she said, Two. first you have to line a pan or flour just the bottom of it. I put just a piece of parchment in. Did you help me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next, according to baby girl here, what do we have to do? Measure. <laughs> Not really, not for a cake. But what we do need, show them. Say, what are these? Eight. And how many? One, two, Yes. Three. No? How many eggs in here? One, two. Two eggs. Three. Oh, okay, just a minute. We're gonna, yes, 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 we're gonna crack them ah, in just a minute. And what else do we need? Water. Water. Yes. And we're going to put the water in the bowl. We just have a mixing bowl. Plastic. Yeah. And whoops, whoops. What else? Oh, oh yes. That's so good. Uh-huh. This is called a chocolate ganache finger cake. And what do we have here? Oil? Yeah. Yes. Can you pour the oil in? Yes. Oh, okay. Not with your fingers. With the fork, baby. Yes. And then what do we do? Stir it around. And then what? We have to put the egg. Yes. The, oops, the egg in. Okay, okay. So, let Noni help you. Ooh, what are we gonna do? Well, let's use this because it's a little harder. Ooh, there's the egg. Can you help me? Oh, perfect. Again, how many eggs? Two eggs. Wait a minute. We gonna crack it? Ready? Yes. There you go, baby. Oh, you did such a good job. Okay, now can you take the fork mm -hmm, and break the yolk and stir it all around. 
down. Can you do that? Yes. Oh, oh honey, don't touch with your fingers. We, we don't, yeah, that's not too good. Raw eggs, okay. You don't want to taste raw eggs. Okay, you go back to measuring. I'll just incorporate the eggs here. Okay, no, no. Now what do we have to do? Oh, she wants you to see she has her buddy George here. George is helping bake the cake, huh? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Now what's next? Ugh, a little cartoon washing. I'm just using this Jared Galdi dark chocolate cake mix. And it says, Right here, we lined everything. We've got the oven on 350. Pre-mix your eggs, water, and oil using a fork until frothy. Add your cake mix and gently stir with a spoon. Do not over mix. Okay, so I am going to mix this until, ooh, it's splashing, until it's frothy. You help. Yes, don't touch, honey. Oh, that's so frothy. Again? Okay, yeah. right there. <laughs> okay, now, oopsie, I get it. Now we have to change to a spoon, baby, because look at what we're gonna do. We're going to put the cake mix in. Ooh, oh, baby, baby, baby. Raw egg. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Okay, thank you very much. Can you pour this cake mix in? Mm -hmm. Wait, pour this in first. <laughs> oh, yo, very good. Pour the cake, baby. Let's get these eggs mixed up before she decides she's going to eat a bunch of raw eggs. <gasps> stir, baby, stir. Oh, oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, just the chocolate. Okay, now, give me your hand. woo woo, -woo. Now we have to stir it. Can you, oh, how pretty. Can you tell, can you tell everybody how pretty it is? Yeah. What kind is it? Cake. What kind? Yes, cake. It, it's a cake, but what color is it? Black. Yes. Chocolate. Yes, it's chocolate. Oh, mm -hmm. she heard a commercial on Chuck E. Cheese. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let, ooh, okay, take a little, okay. That's all, baby, now. There we go. Stir mm -hmm. it, ooh, is it, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, that's so good. The egg is. Yes, the egg is in here, baby. Look, see how nice and pretty. Okay, again? Just a minute, just a minute. Let's see if I can do it, Emily. Okay, uh, gently with a spoon. Do not over mix. Okay, now we take the pan that we've lined with a little piece of parchment. Oh, okay, ooh. That's just coconut spray, and I just sprayed a little bit of coconut. Don't over mix. Here we go, baby. Are you ready? Yes, oh, well, we'll get that measuring tape in a minute. Here, ready? Scoop it. Oh, oh, is no, 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 no. Da, 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 da. It's not that I don't want it to have it. It's just the raw eggs I kind of have a little concerned about. I know. Oh, wait, wait, baby. Okay, that's all. No more. We gotta bake it. Okay. Mmm. Okay. Now let me spread it. You can help me. You help me spread it like this. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Okay, now what do we have to do? Okay. Now we clean. No, 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 no. No more. <laughs> oh, please. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now what do we do? Put it in the oven. Can you say that? Put it in the oven. No. And Noni doesn't mind looking. Mm. Okay. Oop, 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 oop. Now we put it in the oven to bake, right? Right. 350 degrees. Okay. And measure the pan. We measured it. It was nine inches, and we're going to bake it for 32 uh, to 36 oh, minutes. What about you? Yeah. Say, in the oven it goes. Can you say that? at 32 minutes, and then we'll check it. Wow, thank you, Landon, for helping me bake the cake. It was fun.
You want to show everybody your apron? Stand up, babes. Say, this is my pretty apron, and I cooked with Noni. Say, until next time, be kind, be humble, and age gracefully. Say bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Cute babe. Well, that was a lot of fun to bake a cake with my baby granddaughter. It's so much fun to have her come and visit. It's just like the highlight of the day for me. And I just kind of wanted to introduce to you George. He's known, she's watching me, <laughs> he's known as George right now, but in years past, um, 34 years ago, he was known as Guy because it was a gift given to my son. And he is, of course, a monkey. And um, when he could uh, start to talk or whatever, he referred to him instead of being able to say monkey, it came out Guy. So we knew him as Guy all those years. And, oh, okay, you have to go TT? Let's go, be back in a minute. She's learning how to potty train. Well, at least she told me she had to go. We just didn't quite make it, but that's okay. It's all part of it. So anyways, Guy has been a part of our family for 34 years. He belonged to my son, and I reintroduced Guy to her, um, and she absolutely adores him. Ooh, sorry, another interruption. Anyways, so I've reintroduced Guy to my granddaughter, and she loves and adores him. Um, he stays here, and every time she comes over, she goes right to get him out and starts calling him. And of course, she's renamed him George because of, you know, the little cartoon George. She loves the cartoon, she loves him, and this is her special buddy. Here she comes. Are you coming over here to talk about George? Come here. Oh, tell everybody, who is this? Who? George. George. Cheese. So I just wanted to give you a little history on that. And if you look back there by that pink apron, which is hers, next to it is another little short apron, which I bought in Texas when my son was about two years old. So he's 30, he's 34 now. And uh, so that little apron is that old. And um, I'll get it and show you, because I guess she wants me to. Oh, no, baby, don't go in there. No, that's Chloe's house. So, we were living in Texas. Oops, sorry, baby. We were living in Texas at the time. And this is a little apron, and I've kept it all these years. And I have such great memories of putting it on him when he let me. And cooking with him in the kitchen, which mm -hmm, didn't last too long. But I think I have a new cook here. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed this little video and until next time come here we're gonna say goodbye bye. say until next bye time bye. be kind bye bye and bye bye and bye bye to george blow let george blow a kiss oh mwah. bye i'm going to share with you the end result of my chocolate ganache cake made by me and my granddaughter earlier today it looks rich and chocolatey and um, I'm gonna give it a taste. Now I don't normally have this kind of dessert often, but once in a while when you bake a cake with your granddaughter, it's worth it. Mmm, mmm. If you haven't had chocolate ganache, it's so good. Dark chocolate cream and a couple pinches of salt it's the perfect frosting and of course nothing's better than cold milk to wash it down and actually I decorated it with just a couple of little raspberries on the top and can it be all that bad for you I mean I hear dark chocolates really good for you good for your heart and there's fruit in it so Mmm. Mmm. For a box cake, that is so delicious. If 
you are a dark chocolate lover and you like the rich taste of ganache, it's like, it's not sweet. It's just got the right creaminess and just that great flavor of dark chocolate. It's really good. So hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it with my granddaughter and it's been a long night and I'm going to continue eating my cake and drinking my milk. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I absolutely had just such a blast making memories and just spending this precious time with my sweet little sweetie pie who I just love cherish and adore and we're busted we have chocolate on our lips thanks for joining in bye